If this video has found you, it's calling for you to concentrate on florals, academics, aesthetics, organization, and continue continuity. This is a call to follow through with something. For some of you, you've been feeling yourself going through a metamorphosis, but this feels like a a self-instructed metamorphosis like you feel more involved in it this doesn't feel like a like against my will kind of transformation this feels like i don't know why but i feel like doing this i don't know why but i feel like doing that you're really being called to lean into this energy and lean into this because there is purpose in this virgo season has revealed many truths and there's some sort of pluto influence as well here but the Pisces full moon emphasized it for you. The transformations that need to change, but also the things that you've done that are actually really, really good for you. The things that have really been helpful for you. So it's not just a constant cycle of, oh, what do I need to fix? What do I need to change? At the same time, you've been shown what you've been doing well. I'm seeing that a lot of you have made a lot of sacrifices. Um, for some of you, you may have used your last to travel somewhere or you used your last to create something or you used your last uh, in order to win something. Um, there's something here about sacrifice, which is also more Pisces energy and pulling on that full moon and Pisces vibe that we just passed through. Mm -hmm. literally we just had wasting time moving on coming through here um i also see um a lot of us are going to be realizing that we've kicked some sort of bad habit or broke it out of some sort of toxic toxic cycle because those of us that obviously watch readings like this right here the readings are going to be coming through a whole lot differently you're going to resonate on a different level you may even find yourself liking different types of readings or being pulled to different types of um readings or readers um or you're going to notice a shift in your pull to someone you may notice that you may want to dive a bit deeper into what it is that they have to offer um this isn't just in regards to readings but this is definitely coming through very specifically because this is a spiritual space that we're talking with them but for some of you this is about your therapist you wanting to dive deeper into things with your therapist or taking your therapist's advice in some way here i'm also getting here too a lot of us are dissipating some sort of toxic attachments in regards to love whether this be in regards to a specific person um, that you had some toxic attachments to that could be what's dissipating here is like you're drifting away from readings that were all about that type of person or that energy um, but I also do see too that you are allowing certain thoughts to linger that imply that something better is to come. Um, for a lot of you, this is you coming out of a toxic or scarce mentality. That's what all this transformation and hoopla has been all about. For some of you, you're like, I can't understand why I want to change this about myself or why I stopped eating this. Look at that impersonator comes out in the reverse here because it's just not who you want to be any longer. It doesn't fit your current lifestyle, your current aesthetic. It just, it doesn't fit anymore. It's not working. For some, it never did work. Okay. And speaking of things that never did work, for some of you, you're going to be dusting off some things and realizing what did work so don't be surprised if you like trade this in for that um hand this habit off for that things of that nature okay one more <sighs> yeah you're definitely letting go of grudges and you're you may not be consciously aware of this. That's what this whole transformation and new found identity is all about. It's because you finally let go of grudges and left some sort of space. Um, there was energy that was just like, they're taking up time, effort, space, thought, energy. It was taking up everything that it could possibly take up, whether you were consciously aware of it or not. I have a feeling that for the majority, this is subconscious. Again, that's why I keep referencing to the Pisces full moon that just passed because Pisces is all about subconscious energy, especially with the emphasis of the full moon. It's really getting in deep and pulling the gunk out. 
And that's what you've had here is a real spiritual healing, cleansing vibe with the Pisces full moon. Yeah. We have the Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> the Nine of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. So this is your glow up season. Actually, you're going to notice that you start to shine a bit brighter. Um, people will use words such as like lively, strong, brave, optimistic, vibrant, um, cheerful, joy, content when it comes to you um, or when they describe your energy. Or you're going to notice this within yourself that you are more present, more alive, and more ready. For some of you, more ready to compete or ready to get back in the game. For some of you, that's literal. Yeah. I definitely see a lot of moving on and doing a lot of the things that we always said that we wanted to do and just finally not talking about it, but being about it. Yeah, there's a lot here about um, a thin line between patience and waiting versus getting it done. I see you stepping into the getting it done energy. As I said that it was 555 on the timer. So again, these are changes that you are initiating. So you're really being called to flow into that and feel that because this has to do with your newfound freedom and your newfound self. 